I don't know, to try to put it in perspective, if you're talking about 24 inches of snow, that almost puts it at the top. The highest amount of snow New York City has ever had was 25 and a half inches on that Christmas Day storm back in 1947. So we could actually feasibly be seeing the biggest snowstorm ever. If it all comes to pass, remember now, the heaviest snow band is going to waver back and forth a little bit, maybe by about 25, 50 miles, but we would easily be above the one-foot mark, looking at possibly two, and uh, where that two-foot, uh, where that 24 inches or even 30 inches of snow falls remains to be seen. As the scooter might say right now, snowy cow. Well, <laughs> well New York City schools are closed tomorrow. That was Craig Allen, by the way, in the Weather Center. Uh, that hasn't happened, by the way, the schools closing down in New York City since the 1970s. New York City Mayor Rudy Giuliani has declared a state of emergency. That means people should avoid using their cars. If they do drive the car, it has to have radial tires and chains if they want to go on snow emergency streets. Can't close the city down. I mean, the police, the fire department, EMS, others have to get through. Uh, to the extent that people don't have to come to work, if they have any discretion about it at all, tomorrow would be a good day. To do that. New Jersey Mayor Christine Todd Whitman has also declared a state of emergency, as has Nassau County Executive Thomas Galata, who is live on the WCBS Newsline. Mr. County Executive, can you tell us uh, what that means? Yes, so we're asking because of the no traffic emergency that I can... Over seven inches of snow here. Cars are having a difficult time. The plow already came once. It's almost six o'clock. We have almost a foot of snow on the ground. The snow has actually let up just a little bit. Now it's only snowing about an inch an hour instead of two inches an hour. As you can see, it's a quarter to seven at night. Snow's picked up again a little bit. We have a foot of snow on the ground, or at least a foot of snow, anyway. Dad. Still snowing hard. And uh, James, we, uh, was there a lot of snow on the street when you were walking? Yeah. Yeah, no cars going can come up now, right? Well, there's some tracks there. Looks like a car came up the block. All well, the tracks are covered. Which they might buried. Get the truck. It's stuck. How the truck can't get stuck? This has got deep, big wheels. Big truck. Look at the tires and tire uh, marks in there. Tire trucks. Now I can talk. Here's Donna's house. And I'm house number two. There's a uh, four inches of snow. No, 12 inches. 12 inches of snow. And, and it's still snowing, right? And it's still snowing, and it's snowing hard, and everybody gets wet. We do have one, two, it's one, almost three, 13 inches of snow on the ground. On the railway, it's pretty much limited service on everything. The Long Beach Park... Not snowing as hard as it was. And Oyster Bay Branch and Long Island Island are also suspended. Let's find a forecast down. WCBS Weather Center. Earlier, Craig Lagg, Mr. Mullen, basically, storm warning continues. The blizzard right there. Tonight, coming down hard still. We have about 15 inches, it looks like. I have to check it. Louis steps is over, snowed over again.
about seven, at least 17, 18 inches so far. for those tracks to be covered up with this wind. Yeah. I feel the snow come right through the windows. Unbelievable. Getting a little scary. Snow or a group of again. Be a little sleep mixed in also. started. This is the height of the storm. Look at these flakes. Get some fat flakes in there. It's midnight, a couple of minutes past midnight, January 8th. Didn't take long for those tracks to be covered up. It's snowing harder now than it's been all day. It's about, I have to estimate, it's hard to, to uh, at least 19 inches for the day. And that's the estimation. estimation. Very hard to measure. There's about 20 to 24 inches of snow on the ground. It's hard to measure. 7 o'clock in the morning, Monday morning, January 8th. Data will live 